So, a messaging revolution is on its way. Our next session brings to light the, light the business potential of rich communication services, which incorporates features such as rich media and transactions. Introducing our next speaker is the CEO of Mobility, Dennis Becker. <coughs> Cheryl, you have Lou, I have Todd. So uh -huh. um, yeah. hopefully the, the clapping is weighted over on that side of the room. Uh, so thank you. Uh, so the, the future of mobile communications and commerce is here. I'm very excited today to share with you the results of a case study that we performed where we leveraged Google's RBM platform to drive rich media mobile promotions to subway consumers. Now we've been partnering with Subway over the last couple years to bring point of sale attribution to mobile marketing. And we've perfected one-to-one -one attribution of mobile marketing messages to actual sales transactions across millions of subway consumers. Now I'm excited to continue our work with Todd and his team at Google to proliferate the adoption of RCS across the United States and beyond. And from the results that you're about to see, I think uh, there's a very bright future for it. Uh, Todd and his team are here, as, as we are, will be available after the presentation to talk through some of the results, if you'd like. So here now, I'd like to introduce uh, Chris Iganelli, the Chief Digital Officer at Subway, to talk about next generation uh, messaging, as well as a future of distributed commerce powered by mobile. Chris? Hi everybody, so um, I know as you're looking at me, you might go, she looks really familiar, right? I look really familiar, like, it's niggling in the back of your head, like who does she remind me of? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of hint, right? She's an incredible performer, singer, she's very beautiful, <laughs> amazingly talented. I know what you're all thinking, right? Beyonce. Yeah, that's exactly it. All the time I got mistaken for Beyonce. So I am so excited to be here today because I cannot actually believe these results. But I'm here in public being recorded, so they must be true. Um, because what we've done with uh, SMS messaging and Google's new platform of RCS, Rich Communications, is blow the doors off of response rates due to um, within the text messaging platform. So I'm really excited to share that with you. So what, everybody knows what SMS looks like, right? And it's really, really popular in the US and Canada and Western Europe. And as marketers, we value the platform and channel, but we hate what it looks like. Right? It, it, I mean, we know, we know that images sell more, drive up conversion rates, um, and you can't do any of that in SMS. So, now what we have, thanks to Google RCS, is the ability to actually make the experience richer, hence it's in the name, Rich Communication Service, right? So it is better than SMS. And what you can do with this is actually everything that we've been taught to do within our marketing discipline, but within the mobile channel. So we're not stuck with just plain text. We can actually include images. We can have it be two-way conversational. It's incredibly, incredibly valuable, right? So it's a trusted message, better metrics and data, richer media. How many of you are like, oh yeah, I have to have an SMS program, but it doesn't really make me excited? Let me see, let me see. Well, how many of you are actually marketers in the room? <laughs> then all of your hands would go up, right? Because it's just this functional channel. Well, now it's more than a functional channel. Now it's actually something you can get excited about and you can drive incremental business through because that's how our customers want to interact with us. So we did a test, and I know you're not gonna believe the results, but one of our tests, which was a price promo, was 140% lift in conversion rate. That's crazy. How much would you spend to get that kind of a lift? So that's what you should tell Todd you're willing to pay to get this, okay, <laughs> and Dennis. Right? We did another test that was a meal deal offer. So you know a meal deal 
is a higher price point versus a price promo for a single item. So we got lower conversion rate by the nature of the deal, but it was still 51% higher. That is unbelievable. Yes? Yeah, thank you, David. Yes, I have a couple of plants in the audience. So that's just one of the things that we are doing at Subway for mobile, for digital. It's tremendous results. I wouldn't even say it's the cornerstone. I would say it's the finishing touches on a whole omni-channel strategy. And I really hate the, that word, omni-channel, because I didn't really know what it meant. It's like the IOT, the Internet of Things. I was like, that's a really lazy person who couldn't actually come up with a word, and they just call it IOT. So the same thing with omni-channel. It's just everywhere now. It's just the new way to market and the new way to do this. So why are we doing this, um, our RCS program? Why are we working with Mobivity and Google to do this? Well, why do you think? Because customers require it. And within the restaurant space, we can influence the purchase behavior. 63% of people have no idea what they're going to eat for lunch within an hour of lunchtime, and 44% use a mobile device to inform that decision. So if we're not there, we are not in the consideration set. So we have doubled down on mobile, we have doubled down on digital, and the results speak for themselves with 30% more in terms of spend, there are benefits to frequency of purchase all the way around. It's a win, 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 okay? But it's not by itself. So I'm gonna say something now. I know this is a Mobile Marketing Association Summit, and I'm gonna say something that might be a little blasphemous, but you can't just think about mobile. And I am the toughest critic in the world. Look at my Twitter handle, okay? I have tripled down in mobile for years and years and years. I think I got that handle in like 2011 when I had my startup. I was pitching VCs to fund my startup and I actually had people tell me, no one will ever buy anything from a phone. Get out of my office. That's not hyperbole or exaggeration that actually happens. So um, who's laughing now? So I mean, but they're rich and I'm not, so I guess they're still laughing because I still have to work. All right, so Mo Carissa, at Carissa Mobile, you know, heaven forbid, I don't think at Carissa Blockchain or Carissa Voice sounds as, as good, so I'm really hoping Mobile is here to stay for a long time. Um, so you can't build mobile as a point solution or in a vacuum or on an island, right? Or any other cliche I can throw at you so close to lunchtime when you're starving. And what I mean by that is consumers expect personalization, they expect, expect more options, customization, they want it when they want it, how they want it, at the price they want to pay, and you can't do that only in mobile. You need all of the underlying systems to deliver that experience. So I totally get that this is the Mobile Marketing Association, but really, this should be about omni-channel and all digital because you can't deliver the mobile experience that you want without having all those supporting systems, channels, interfaces, right? So we need the channels, we need the properties. This is just a smattering of it. So you know what I've spent the last two years doing at Subway? I spent the last two years building a brand new digital division so that I can deliver that rich messaging just in texting format, right? To be able to do that, we had to put all of this stuff in place. We spent a year and a half putting in the foundational technology. Then we built on top of that all the middleware, all the databases, right? And finally, so I'm working from the bottom up, the digital consumer facing products. So mobile app, web, all of the things that you would think about. And the reason is, and I'm gonna go back to what Alan from Google said yesterday, Omni-channel customers spend three times more. You don't want a single-channel customer. Well, let me correct that. I want any customer who has money, right? But I would prefer somebody who spends three times more. So I need to meet them where they are, and where they are is everywhere in every channel. I have this conversation all the time with my board, who um, I have some forward-thinking uh, board members who say, you know, we just relaunched our loyalty program, and they say, um, well, 
let's move them all to the app. We want them all to engage with the loyalty program through the app. And I have to raise my hand and I say 70% of our customers use the plastic swipe card. So I print and produce plastic cards and I send them to all 26,500 restaurants in the United States. Because you can't leave behind your customers. You want to, we want to migrate them over to digital, to mobile, but they're not there yet. So what are we going to do? Say, nope, your money's not good. We'll only take your money if you place the order through the app. That's never going to happen. I wouldn't have a job, right? And I'm not stupid. I want to keep my job. So we spent the last two years doing this and building this and putting this all in place so that we could do something like the rich uh, communication services, the RCS, in the texting platform. This is not easy, and it takes a long time, and it takes a lot of money, but it is definitely worth it, because this is what it looks like now. So we launched our app about a year ago. Um, we've continued to enhance it. We now have 4.6 stars in the App Store, and if you notice a little bit about this, we took some of the best practices from some of the apps that you have all probably developed. So I borrowed some of the best examples. So in our app, if you want to customize a sandwich, if you swipe left, you can remove something. If you swipe right, you can increase the number of ingredients. So you can double or triple the amount of olives or onions or green peppers, add cheese, whatever you would like in the sandwich. Right? So this is what we're doing now, is basing it off of best-in-class examples. And we wouldn't have been able to do this before. We relaunched our loyalty program March 19th. It's been around now for 100 days. We've had a 33% increase in loyalty members in 100 days. And I'm, I'm not talking about going from three to 10. I'm talking multiple millions. 33% increase in 100 days with zero paid advertising. All based on customization, personalization, UI, UX, and all of the principles that we believe in that is part of our DNA. That's what we've done. Now imagine when I start turning on the paid media, what the numbers will do. I'm excited to find out, aren't you? Okay, calm down, calm <laughs> down. I can't take it, hangover from last night. Lower your voices. Okay, so here's what the Subway My Way Rewards program looks like in the app. So we have the um, token counter, you get a token explosion when you hit the 200 tokens and you get a reward put in your wallet. Auto, so we auto issue the rewards. Um, so I think this is pretty exciting um, when you see those tokens falling down. So somebody on my team said that it's like a dopamine rush and it coined the term tokamine. So you get a dopamine rush when you get the tokens. You get it some way, tokens, yes? All right, now you're waking up. I know you're just starving, you want lunch. All right, so, um, we, as I mentioned, we auto issue the rewards. What could we do with RCS? We could actually notify people within their text messaging platform that they have a reward waiting for them when they go back into their account or place an order. We can apply the, the eventually, Dennis, take, take a note, we can apply the, the reward to their purchase when they purchase through the RCS platform. Okay, so we support the loyalty program in the website and of course the subway card, the plastic cards. I can't move away, 70% of my people, of my customers engage using old school plastic cards. All right, so here's what the experience looks like in the app. I know you're all gonna get really excited. Calm down. I know, look, it's amazing. Look, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Look at, did you all get excited right there? When you Very. saw this Thank you. Very. Yes. So excited. Can you see it again? <laughs> you can download the app, make a purchase, and you can see it for yourself. Was that good? I didn't even practice that. Okay. I'm used to hecklers. All right, Lady Gaga is definitely used to hecklers. You're all my little monsters. Okay, so more digital products. It's not just, remember what I was talking about on your channel? Oh my gosh. Uh, you're just cloning in now? Really? Okay. Scannable offers in the app. 
responsive web. Remember, this is omnichannel. The consumer wants to everything that you've shown them in the text messaging platform, in the app, on the website. They want it all, all over the place, right? We have our digital menu boards so that when you walk into the restaurant, we can recognize you and show you the things that you like, kiosk and digital screens. The thing that is hard to illustrate here is our CRM program. And I will share a fun fact with you that I just uh, found out. We just did some testing. So if I send you an email and I know that Todd is a vegetarian, but you are love red meat, if I show you a sandwich image with the roast beef in it, you are 8.5% more likely, an 8.5% lift in conversion rate when you actually show a product preference. That's crazy. That's simple. And nobody thinks about it because it's very old school, right? An email program, and we're in the Mobile Marketing Association but I make a lot of money from old school things. All right, so what is next for mobile? I don't know, I have some ideas. So one is I have no idea what crazy ideas Mobility is gonna come up with and they're gonna use us as their laboratory and guinea pig and I am all over that. I have no idea what Todd and the Google team are gonna come up with and they're going to say, hey Carissa, do you wanna do a little pilot test with us? So I, I don't know. What I do know is that it's not going to be a point solution. It's going to be omnichannel. It has to be everywhere. And you have to think broader than just mobile. You have to think about consumers and how consumers like to interact. And you really have to think about all the underlying supporting systems that are required to deliver on those consumer expectations. Thank you very much. And go download our app and get a Subway sandwich today. Thank <laughs> you.